Okay, hello dear friends, good morning. So last night you have seen that uh, I bought these two new things and today we are going to try it to do a makeup and blah blah blah. The color is... I think this is natural beige. Put a little bit of BB cream. Okay, that's about it. And uh, I think I will take this uh, opportunity to do a uh, blah blah blah. And last Saturday I finished a big project and after that I am totally loosen up. And the problem is that when you loosen up yourself, you kind of... Uh, <laughs> uh, not only spiritually loosen up, relaxed, but also your body just uh, cannot be as tight or as... Uh, alert as before so i woke up i put on the alarm and uh, i woke up and then fell asleep because i could not sleep in the night and uh, so i woke up quite late and i didn't have time to do any makeup and i ran to school to do my duty Luckily, I do not have class in the morning, in the early morning, so I have time to come back home to, to do some makeup or to, <clears throat> to fix myself a little bit. I wear glasses and with my hat. Anyway, so it's just a few minutes of, uh, of duty and I need it over. And now I come back home to take care of myself. Might be too much white on my face, but uh, that's okay. Okay, the other day I have done my eyebrow thing, so maybe I will do it again and show you. The details of it. So I use something dark. A little bit tilted. Because my face feature is relatively flat, I have a typical Asian face. There were times people say I'm from Korea. There are time people say I'm from um, <clears throat> from uh, Mongolia. Of course, there are many times people say I'm from China. But anyway, I belong to the kind of Far East, very very flat face. Do not have a um, a, a high. Except this spoon, the cheekbone is uh, is relatively high, but otherwise my eyebrow is flat 
and uh, my nose is flat and uh, my eyes are flat everything relatively flat so there's only one way to make a little bit uh, tilted or, or shape of my face is through drawing the eyebrow the right side this side is a little bit more on this side not that much but uh, later on when you use that little brush it's okay but make an intention to <coughs> to um, alleviate some of uh, of the the imperfection of yourself this is about makeup the other day I did a blah 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 during makeup because makeup made me cover up something and there is one nice friend said for her makeup is not about uh, uh, covering up it's about expression I think it's wonderful everyone has their own opinion have their own uh, everyone has their own opinion has their own um, their own thoughts reflection on on makeup small as makeup so when we do anything we actually has a purpose and uh, do not think it's too small that it does not deserve your time and attention for this purpose sometimes just to think about our purpose our purpose of doing this daily routine mundane things can can consolidate our daily activity and can make us put in the right mindset okay i'm doing with a purpose or um, uh, there is a purpose there's nothing in our life that does not have any purpose i cannot think about anything that does not have any least purpose but uh, it's just about how we this is just the same as so makeup I think you do not need a lot of makeup equipment and uh, makeup product. You just need to use a few of their color. And uh, everyone has their own purpose of doing something. And it's good to hear different people's idea and uh, it sometimes we find company from other people's action or other people's thoughts and sometimes we find diversity from other people's thought and action and it makes our action it can it actually affirm or confirm our action because it shows that everyone is different right anyway i will not blah 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 too much about this makeup makes me feel confident and that is it whatever other people's thought it does not count that much and whatever i think about your makeup does not count at all neither it's uh, our own action our own reaction our own thoughts that counts so the other day one friend i think i will take this opportunity to do some blah 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 on some random things one thing is about motivation so every time 
every time when I get uh, an interesting request, I will think about it, I will check with my friends or with people I know and check how I can answer them. Ooh. Since we are having it, I will use this one, the new one. Mm -hmm. Where do we use? We use on the side, okay? Use on the side. Mm. That lightens a little bit, not too much, and we do not want it to be too much. That is just perfect. Mm, not bad. Not bad. Mm, it's a little bit. Whoa. My face is like, but this one make my face look darker and look warmer actually. This color is warmer than the other color. It looks my face warmer. That's good. That's good. Okay, so <clears throat> Let's talk about uh, uh, motivation. One friend asked about motivation and uh, I checked about with friends about motivation and uh, yeah, we, we, we just chat about and uh, it reinforced my thoughts. So I will make a mixture of my thoughts and her thoughts and uh, blend them in all in together. First, recently I listened to TED Talks and there are TED Talks that are really motivating and very interesting but um, there are TED Talks that just uh, it's a too short time to bring up a much deeper profound thing so sometimes it just you feel um, it brings some big big slogan, big new idea, but TED Talk is about it. idea was shared. And sometimes you feel there is no uh, substance to support it. And uh, so I listen to TED Talk and I listen to some motivational talks, just because you listen to this kind of video and uh, the play, uh, the video suggestion box continue to suggest you new things about in this genre, in this uh, uh, motivational. And I was thinking, sometimes I just cannot get uh, the motivation from those most beautiful poetic way of talking and with music and with the most charming arithmetic, no not arithmetic, charismatic and most motivating voice. Just think about the, the most important motivators in the inter, on the internet and in the national conference and all these. I'm talking about these people and I find it does not motivate me and it makes me feel distanced. Maybe because, because I was not in that environment. If I am in a meeting in a conference, national conference, international conference, international training, uh, <clears throat> get together and everybody is, everybody is pumped up, maybe I will have that spirit. But when I am sitting in my car as a podcast or just uh, yeah I listen usually in the in the in the car so I just do not feel that uh, I am touched enough so what is the reason 
it is the best to talk and they, they are talking the most motivational words. You will conquer it and you cannot surrender. If you surrender, the word is not, the word is not made for you and you have to be the best and nobody can beat you down. You are the only person who can conquer yourself. And <clears throat> to conquer the world, you start from conquering yourself and all these things. You have to put motivation in your life and you have to decide that you are going to be the world changer and you are going to see the change from yourself to start to initiate the world change. Anyway, all these beautiful, wonderful things and which, which are truths. But uh, I do not know. I just feel it's kind of distanced and it's kind of too pumped up and uh, something is too pumped up and your your blood is boiling it's not going down your blood way to, your, into your body so i am thinking motivation start from something very small i hope you listen to them and also if you do care listen to me then this is what i would like to bring another aspect of this motivation see Motivation is not a big thing, it's a small thing. Starting from the most small things, starting from the most concrete things, and something that you can do. For example, I'm making up, doing my makeup, and this makeup, just by thinking of, I go to work, I go out without makeup, it does not make me happy. And I take some time to wash myself, to clean myself, and to put the best of myself. This thought motivates me. And it put me into a positive and happy mindset. I know a lot of you do not need to do makeup to put you in the happy mi mindset. Just accept me. This is my mindset that when I do wake up, it puts me in a happy mind mindset and make me more confident. And that is me. And this is the motivation. That is starting from those small, little, teeny, tiny little things. And you will see progress step by step, better than better. And one good thing brings another good thing. You are happy, you are confident, there is more chance that when you go out, you get less frustrated. If there is traffic jam, there is less chance that you, 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 you bump your car into, into another car and frustrated and cursing in your car. Maybe you will turn on the radio, turn on the podcast and just enjoy this extra few minutes of time to learn something new, to listen to, to something new. May it be music, may it be motivation, motivational talk, may it be online course, Coursera, and uh, uh, Udami, whatever. And uh, <clears throat> so you have more chance to be doing something better start from these little things and also motivate yourself with reachable goals. My goal is to become a, a, a Yale math major or MIT math major. That is too far away from me. I am passionate about uh, uh, listening to those professors math course and I can do it if I want to learn those knowledge. I can open internet, I can open YouTube, all their courses are online. And to be a, um, a PhD in math is, is my goal, is my dream, but it's too far away from reachable. So you need to prioritize ourself, uh, yourself. 
I need to prioritize myself and that is not a goal that is practical and economical, reachable and it does not make much sense. I'm already 60 years old and I got a, a math degree, what do I do? I, it, it does not become, it does not bring more economic result into my life. So I will keep that dream and uh, once in a while, in my wildest dream, I may think about it, but uh, it's more important that I think about uh, something more concrete, something more reachable to encourage myself, to motivate myself. And just thinking about uh, uh, going become a university student to, to go through all the paperwork. It is the most depressing thing. So that cannot be a motivation. Do not think about it. Do not use that as a motivation. Use something, clean up your room. Now my room is a little bit messy. I put my makeup layer after layer. This one goes to the other room. One makeup, two makeup, one, two, three, four, and they are all stackable. Stackable in one place. So I put here, and then you have a, a clean and a nice workspace, and everything put in the right place. That makes me happy and that motivates me and it does not have to be big work. And uh, in my home there are rooms. My study room was totally messy. There are too many pens, too many books, too many papers, too many materials and too many electric cables and every time when I see it, it depresses me and if I want to motivate myself, I want to have a good mindset, I take two hour, one hour, two hour of time to, to, to clean it up. When it is cleaned, I'm very happy. But that's a two hour worth of work and I do not always have time and I do not need to do it all the time. But if I clean up the, the kitchen countertop, right now it's a marble countertop, it's easy to clean. I pss, 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 spray some water or sometimes Windex or wet my towel and clean it up and throw away the things and it becomes clean and that motivates me. That is a very good thing that put me into a good mindset. So motivation does not come from big things, from small things, from reachable goals. And uh, what we need motivation is actually not to set up new goal, is to, to adjust our mindset and make us happy, confident, and feel uh, accomplished. Even if it is the most smallest, teeny tiny small thing, and most ignorable small things, but that makes me happy and go ahead do it. Another thing about motivation, the other day I was uh, uh, supporting in a math class and they are learning about fraction and uh, the teacher was teaching and uh, I do and then there are kids, you know, American kids has a lot of freedom. And if they do not understand, they will shout out, oh, teacher, I don't understand. And in China, usually, at least for me, if I do not understand, I will be so ashamed to, to do not dare to speak out. That's my problem. Anyway, they speak out, so the teacher is taught, teaching, and I go to them, I go to them, okay, this problem you do not know, now I copy the problem and I write it down again. Maybe I will do a video to, to just to show you how I do it. I write it down, uh, one over two plus two over, one over three, 
you see the denominator is not the same you have to make the same denominator so two you will times three so that it is the same as uh, three times two and if you bottom times three two three top you will times three bottom time two on top you will time two so that is a two six at the bottom and two and three on the top so it's five anyway so i will do with the students on their side write it down take my time take their time if they do not understand i will do it again write it again and open up the problem and explain it again they finish one thing, they understand, and then I do another problem and do the third problem some and for some students and they get it, they are happy, I'm happy and they want to do it because they learn something in the most concrete and practical way. And uh, I think a lot of us, a lot of people cannot learn from teacher because the teacher is talking to the class, not talking to you. And uh, we need someone talking to, to us, to me, eye to eye, talking to me. So I provide that and they are happy, they learn something and um, I keep on writing another problem and then if this one fixed for this problem I move on to another student and still do the same thing and there are some kids who is stronger at math okay let's do some challenge problem so I write some problem more challenging and uh, so and another one is even more, needs more challenge, is even stronger than even more challenging problem. So what I do, because I know math, I know fraction, and for fourth graders, so I give them the exact amount that they can reach, they can solve the problem, but they do not need to, they, 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 they do not, they do not solve it too easily. I give them just the amount of difficulty that they can feel they can do, they can finally do, but they do not feel they are able to do at first. And there is a step, they need to get over that step and get to, to the result. And it's very inspiring, that experience. So everyone got, uh, got uh, happy and uh, but students are always different some are tired maybe because didn't have a good sleep last night some just not motivated to do it why do i need to do this right so you know what you can do and what you cannot do you explain every matter to the student but still there are students just do not put eyes on you and they do not need it and you know that you cannot help at least you cannot help at this time so i leave that student okay you be quiet and not disturbing the class maybe you take a rest to put your head on the table you do not learn not a problem eventually you will have time to learn you will have chance to learn at least you will have chance to learn and when you are not in the right mood you do not want to learn and i force you to learn then you will hate this subject forever you will hate me that's okay i will only stay with you for a few years and then you grow up but you will hate math you will hate learning you will hate the experience of acquiring knowledge and that i do not want to build so some people wants to learn some students wants to learn i do step by step and slowly um, building up the difficulty, building up the challenge. If someone do not want to, learn, want to learn, I give the simple list so that they can solve and that's it. So you have different step of, uh, of expectation and, uh, and uh, achievable goal. And uh, 
everybody is happy and we all learn something. Okay, I will stop. That video is too long. I will continue with my talk. So uh, you make sure that uh, it is something that is reachable. If it is not reachable, if the difficulty is too, if the problem is too difficult, the student will be will be overcame, will be overcome, 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 overcame, overcome. The students will be overcome by the problem and depressed by the problem. And at the end of the day, they just give up and just reject it. It is not good. You want to build reachable goal. You want to scaffold, but you want to build up the step going up, up, up until re they reach the final goal. And it is the same as our life. And I was just thinking, it is so motivational for the students to learn something, who wants to learn something, and finally got what they want to learn. And it is so inspirational and it is so motivational for me to find what is the right method, what is the method that really works and I make it really good for all of us. So that is something we want to build. We want to make the goal step by step. Do not put a big highest goal as your ultimate goal that you are going to reach today. If you want to reach your goal to become a millionaire, billionaire, gazillionaire, if you want to reach your goal, do not think you want to make a gazillion dollar today. You will start to learn about economy. You will learn to start to, to, to learn to start to learn about how the hedge fund work, how the investment work, and how to how the stock market work, and you slowly start to build yourself. If you want to become a big PhD of mathematics or physics, starting from learning the first set of knowledge, motion, second set of knowledge, wave, the third set of knowledge, electricity, and starting from reading the book first, taking test, doing exercise second, and taking test, and redo all these, repeat repetitively, and doing it, then you can reach, reach your final ultimate goal. And, um, all our life is more depending on our mindset than our, our expectation or our goal, our ambition. It is more important to put ourselves in the good mindset, in a confident, positive mindset and uh, make fun enjoy the process of overcoming problem. Now you have the problem of how do I find motivation? And that is a very positive thing because you want to be good. Go down, look at your table. It is clean or not. It is the way you want or not. Starting from there, clean up the things. And then starting from what you actually want to reach the goal and build up the step, step, step by step. You want to reach a goal to learn something, starting from buy the book, go to bookstore or go to Amazon search book, go online search book, learn lessons, search Wikipedia and all the process. You know what, what is the most comfortable comfortable way you, you get uh, uh, your best result, most effective. So this is, I think this is mostly my thought about how to, 
how to motivate myself. And uh, I have just finished a big project, as I have told you, that students show their work, show their work. I was very busy, my class stopped, I had substitute your teacher for one week, and then everything is done. Now I am totally empty, kind of empty. I was thinking what will be my goal, and when at the most precious time, not precious, precious, stressful time. I was thinking I want to learn French, I want to learn math, and I want to travel local places. So I will put these things step by step. Okay, let me, let me, um, let me speak out my goal so that you, we can grow together and you can observe and you can, you can, oversee my 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 progress and what i do so i decide weekend go to local uh, night christmas lights one of these these nights friday or saturday or maybe just tonight to see the christmas light in the neighborhood and uh, go to some surrounding parks go to a park that is uh, within one hour drive during the day, something like it, I do some video visiting, some nice place, this is one thing, and about learning, and uh, I will read French, but last night I found one thing, I can, one friend wants me to show pen and pencils, and then I showed one pen and I started to write, so that might be a good idea to copy books. So I will copy book um, 10 minutes, 20 minutes every day. And uh, you can see those videos because it's boring to, to let you fall asleep. But it's kind of a report of what I do and continue to do mass. And that, that is about it because if I make too much, it will be just uh, uh, too overwhelming. And for the math, I, I am always thinking about the, the graph of rational functions. And uh, now I found a way, I found some good YouTube video, explain it. And, uh, and uh, I always look at it whenever I'm having meeting, whenever I'm having some free time, and when I cook, I always think about that function, and I start to get a little bit into my, into my system. So slowly doing, and you will reach what you want to reach. And do not set your goal too high, too far away. Start from something small, teeny tiny and make you into the good mindset. When you are confident, when you are happy, and when you have a positive mindset, you can conquer a lot of things. And you can make these unreachable goals faced into something reachable and make you reaching your goal more accessible and more practical. I love you, I really do. Do 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 do.